Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to another video of Dyson Sphere Program. Oh, I see. I know what I'm doing wrong. That one's that one's going to go in there like that. And then it's going to go out of the bottom from here. And it's going to go up like that. See? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that one up and out. And that's coming out the top. So that's got to come out to here. So I can bring that over to there like that that's up in the air and then i can lower that down and i can bring it down to the end point's got to be on the ground that one can drop down to there and then i can bring you over this way and we've now got it down onto the ground exactly where i want it so then i can run that belt over to there and i can run that belt over to there and i've got the necessary ingredients coming along then we can go to production in this side and we can have some of these little facilities here. So let's just rotate that bad boy around a little bit and we'll pop that one there. Have I got, what have I got room to do here exactly? I think I need to move that belt back a little bit. Like it doesn't matter if it moves here. Let me get rid of that. Let me go to logistics. That one out. That one goes over there and that comes in and it comes back around there like that. Okay. That's lined up a little bit better, I think. And we can go to production and I can take that one. So you are going to go there and then the second one is going to go there. I don't... Well, we'll stick with two right now. I mean, maybe we will change this and we can, like, run that out. And we can have another two going on in a little bit. But just right now, we will just go with two. And we'll go with the energetic graphene in there. Because it does it in three seconds. And we also need a lot of... The, not the energetic... Yeah, the, the, the graphene. We're making graphene. It's using the energetic graphite right there. Energetic. I'm getting confused with all these names. And... That makes two at a time as well, so I think we'd probably be alright with just two facilities in here. I don't think we're going to need more than that. So we can run in here. Let's just get rid of that one. And so that one, I'm going to do this one because it's going to be the closest one. Run those in there. And then the further one away is got the fewer, it's got, it's got the less quantity of stuff that it's got to move. And you will go... I want to go that way. Yes, you can go over to there, like that. And I'll just bring you up this way a little bit. And then we will put down a storage system right in there. So then we can just, just zoom out a little bit and move. And then we can go here. So I want that one in there. And that one out of there onto that. And then you out there. And you out there. And then I want to go power in here. I want to drop one of those down there. And I'm now making the graphene. I'm now making absolutely everything I need for the interplanetary logistics system. I just got to figure out how to use it. I may not know exactly how this planetary logistics system works, but at least we do now have some materials that we can start making the thing. So if I click on that one, apparently I have got the materials here that I need to actually build it. No, I don't. I need 20 of these. I don't have the materials needed to make it. So we've got those right there. It's, it's that one that I've got to be able to get. If I can have those and I can make those in my hand, but obviously it would be better if we weren't making them in our hand. However... I'm going to do it this time just because I feel that it's probably just going to be simpler if I do that. Uh, looking in here, we've now got a decent quantity of these coming into storage. So I'm going to take a stack of 50 of them and then I'm going to move on over this way. So looking in there, we've got that one is full. We've got all of these that we are possibly going to want from there. And then if we go over this side... We've got several of these, and I'm kind of thinking that I ought really to stop making these as well. So I'm going to put that down to 10 stacks like that. 
and then I won't make any more of those. And then the rest of it will focus on making these bits over here, which we can use for making some other materials. So I've got those down there I've gone and picked up, and then I'm going to come back over this way, and I'm going to go into the graphene storage in there. I'm going to take a hundred of them out of there like that, and then I'm going to go. So now I can make the particle container right there. I've already got the copper bars that I would need for such a thing, and I can click on that one. And I can now actually produce, I can only produce one. But I am able to actually do it. It's going to take me a couple of minutes to actually build this one. The thing that I'm not sure about, and this is planetary logistics system. The hub of the planetary logistics, logistics drones, will automatically transport cargo between stations when you set the corresponding items for supply and demand. Only enables delivery around its own planet. So what we can do is storage three types. We will need to make a couple of these if we are to actually make this work. I need... Actually, I need more of these. I need more of the electromagnetic turbines if I'm going to make more of them. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking that I should rush off and go and do that. If we go over this way and we go and have a look in here, I will take a couple more of them. Because I'm sort of thinking that maybe we are going to want a couple of these. Maybe this is what we should be looking at doing right now. Let's get a couple of these built and uh, sort of get the get these things underway i can still only make one if i do that i'm now i'm a bit short on the graphene so i can go back and i can get another stack of the graphene there a full 100 stack and go back here and make yet another one of these like that and that's got everything and i'm now out of them i'm out of the motors no i've got i've got 30 of the motors um I do keep forgetting to do it, but if you go and click on, is it that one? Yeah, if you click on that one, it tidies everything up and sorts it all out. And I have been reminded of this a few times, um, and I do keep forgetting. But I will try to make sure that I remember to do it right. So I'll put the organic materials in there, and we will just leave it. I've got some graphene right here. I've got a whole load of machines. Just wondering if I should... I'm not going to worry about going and getting some more of this just yet. We've got the titanium on another planet. And I will be able to go and get it. I'm just not going to worry about it at the moment. Now, we've got these different upgrades and stuff that we're going to be making. And most importantly, I'm going to want the interstellar logistics system right there. In order to be able to get that one, I have to have... High strength titanium alloy. So we've got to have that one first, and then that will go on up, and it will unlock the interstellar um, logistics system up here to get us a logistics vessel. And we're going to need high strength titanium alloy to be able to go and do that. Right now, though, we need to be making the structure matrix, and we want to be building that, and then we're going to want to sort of get all of it coming in over to these right here. There's been an update on the game, and this is looking different. I don't know what's, what's going on here. Uh, lack of matrix. Right, it's just telling us that we don't have the items in here at the moment, and we're going to want more of them. So I'm going to need to start building the yellow ones. Actually, what am I going to want on these? What's the, the time for manufacture on here? That takes eight seconds to make one. That takes six seconds to make one, and that takes three seconds to make one. So... That needs to be, uh, we have double the number of these compared to those. This one here is eight seconds over the six seconds on there. So it's a third longer again. So we want one third less. This is three and that is eight. So it's it's not quite three times. Um, so we're kind of looking, well, I'd say we want three stacks of them. I think that's what we're going to be looking for, is we're going to be looking for three stacks of those bad boys. Now, I've got a planetary, logist planetary logistic system is now done. I'm going to the research, and I want the Matrix Lab right there. Not enough items. All right, yeah, Matrix Lab right in there. I can build seven Matrix Labs, and I'm thinking eight on there. thinking I want to actually build ten of them. 
But then I've got to get, obviously I've got to get the materials coming in to be able to do these. So we want magnetic coils and we want circuit boards. And we also want iron. I don't have very much in the way of iron plates, but I can easily get that. There is five stacks of that. I'm going to want to get a bit of copper. The copper storage is that one. One, two, three, four of those. I'm going to want the magnetic coils over there. I've got 49 of them. I'm going to get two stacks of them. And I'm going to also want the electrical circuits, which is that one. And I'm going to take two stacks of them as well. So I've got plenty of different materials in here. And then I can go to these matrix labs. I can make 33 of these. I said I wanted 10. So I'm going to make 10 of these right there like that. Um, probably end up doing 12 so that I've got the big stacks. But we'll go with 10 right here and get them making... In the meantime, I am going to put down our new planetary logistics system. And I'd like to have this over here. Because what I'd like to be able to do is call in materials to feed something in there. So we're going to plonk this one down here right now for a minute. Logistics station. You have taken the first step to establish the interplanetary logistics transportation network. Provided the place of logistic station of the raw material is set to supply, the logistic drones will transport cargo to elsewhere with a demand on the planet automatically. Never forget to put the logistic drones in the logistic station, either the supply or the demand side. The logistic drones will only work for the transportation station they're belonging to. Right, so let's take a bit of time to figure out exactly how we use this bad boy. So we're going to drop down a power supply right there. Uh, I'll be honest, I think this thing does look very cool. Big bad boy like that. I think it looks very, very cool. Uh, get rid of the... I'm in construction mode. I want to come out of construction mode. I've got that one right there. I'm going to return to land. I don't really need to do that. I wanted to see this in, excuse me, I want to see this in daylight. Right, we've got empty slots right here. I've got logistics drones right there. I have none at the moment. No logistics drones. I do, I believe, have the ability to make logistics drones. I'm busy making other things at the moment. There are logistics drones. So these I can make using some materials to make the processors right there. And I'd actually like to start building processors. All right, well, I've got the materials to make these. So we're going to make... Uh, we'll start off by making 10 of them. Just like that. I've got the 10 of these that I want to make. And so we're going to have to get like the drones coming in and then we're going to need to so we've got local station empty slot now where do i put stuff coming in and out this this you have things feeding in so you've got to have belts feeding into this one in order for it to then take things off in another direction there's solar sails right there reinforced thrusters Iron ingots. I want micro crystalline components because I want to be able to make these. And I also want circuit board. So, micro crystalline components right there. I don't want to supply those. I want to demand those. Storage zero in transit, 5000 max. And I'm also going to want to demand circuit boards. Demand, like that. Right, unfortunately, I thought that if you put the drones in, they would go to these storage facilities, pick them up and bring them back, but apparently they don't do that. You've got to have the belts going to this, and then in one place on the planet, and then the drones come in, and they pick the stuff up, and then they go and take it off and um, put it to another part of the planet. I'm busy making the thrusters, so I've got the Matrix Labs. Those are ready now and constructed, so we can 
See, I've got this lot stacked up over here. I'm not going to have any more Matrix Labs on there. What I'm going to do is I'll end up bringing a belt down. In no, I'm not going to bring a belt down into that side. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to destroy this, and I'm going to move it round. We'll do, we'll do something like that, I think. Um... But those Matrix Labs, if we'll, we'll put, as you know, we'll put them over this side. I'll put them over here. I, want I got ten of them. Research right here. I'm going to drop these down here like this. They're, they're kind of going to be in line with this lab, this, this supply area right here. One, two, three, four, five. Ideal, right. I can put five of these. And I'm going to do the same next to it. It's going to be... That's going to actually want to be there like that. And I'm going to leave a bit of a gap. I'm going to go there. One, two, three, four. That's five there. Okay, so I got ten of those stacked right up. That's looking pretty good. Uh, then I want to go over here, and I got ten drones right in here. So I'll take those, and I'll put them in there. Ten out of ten drones in there. Transport range of drones, 180 degrees max charging. Minimum load of drones, 10%. Oh, see, I, I don't know what any of that means. Uh, so that right there... In order to be able to get them, like, I, I, I literally, I, I will just be able to bring a belt from there and, and put it in over to this side for those. The other ones, however, they are all the way over here. And this is the bad boys that we are possibly going to want. So I've got more materials over there. And this is a fair way away, so what I'm thinking here, in order to be able to sort of bring in several different types of material that we're going to want, I've got some foundation here. And I've got the lay foundation with no decoration option. And I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to use up some of my landfill that I've got. Fill this in a bit. There. Lack of item. Oh, I've, I've run out of um, landfill. Okay, fine. Um, that's probably enough that I've got in there. So then I want to go to transportation, and I want to drop down this bad boy right here, like this. Now, this planetary system... If I bring out a tower and I drop that one down there, I'm going to want the microcrystalline components that I've got on this bit, and I'm going to want to be able to bring those into there. So I think what I've got to do is I've got to put these down as a supply thing as well. So I'll have that one, and that's saying supply right there. So I have no idea how this actually works. All right, this at the moment this is pure guesswork for me, but we'll bring you over there. You know what? We'll just bring you straight out like that and then out an extra one. Out an extra one. You will go up to there. And then I will take this. Must choose a constructed facility. That one goes Need a valid connection. Wait, what? Why is that not a valid connection? That's what it's, it's supposed to go straight in there, isn't it? Or does the belt go in? Ah! Right, the belt runs straight in. Well, that, that certainly makes life a little bit easier for us. And you, I'm going to put a fast sorter on here. That one's just going to drop out on there like that. And that's already putting things out. I'm actually going to change that over now. And I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of that belt back to there. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to... No, I don't want to do that. Wait, there was something that I was looking at then. 
What's this? Facilities. Oh, it's a slight change, it looks like, in the the modes here. We've got upgrade, we've got... Yeah, so there's some slight changes in the way that they've done things. There was there was an update before I logged back into the game, so that, that, that would probably explain it. Uh, no, what I actually want to do is I want to start that one there. I want to bring it over like that. And I also want to get rid of that little bit of belt. And then I want to go uh, logistics. I want to go to that one. Bring you out into the center belt. Because it goes faster if you put it on the center belt. So this is coming out here. And then if I look into this one, I've got none in storage. Now I have some in storage. I've got 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, getting more and more of these into storage. And... And there we go. Look, we can see it. He's coming in. We... Whoa. What's happening there? I pressed V. Uh, he came in and he's gone and picked that up. So they're coming over from the other one over there. They're coming in and they're collecting stuff. So how much does... Can I... I can't click on these drones. It says in transit, minus 100 right there. So it looks... Like, I'm not quite sure how many they can go and pick up at one time, but it does look like they can pick up quite a chunk of them at any one time. Well, are we picking up 50 or are we picking up 25? There, he's, he's pick, they pick up 25 at a time. So we're moving these into the storage system in here, and then they're coming over from that one over there, and they are delivering them. So we've got those items going over. I need to just click on to this bit and I want to have a look on here. So we are looking at titanium crystals and we're looking at these. These titanium crystals, we've got these and we've got these being put together to actually make them in an assembler. Um, I've got processor. I make, I'm going to want to make processors over the other side. That's what I've got sort of being set up to make is um, making processors so that I've got somewhere that's manufacturing them. Over this side that we've got, we've got these crystals right here. I haven't actually got a... Yes, I do. I have a storage facility just over here that is picking these up and then moving them around. So what we're going to do with this one is I'm going to take that belt right there. I'm just going to bring it back over... Like that doesn't have to be anything particularly fancy here, does it? What I love about this, I've already decided, is that you don't need to have anything angled too wide. It's, it went in there with the other one. So what's the difference? Why was it going in there with the other one and not going in there with this one? Right, I'll just put that to there. Let me go and have a look at you. Do I actually need to set this one first to supply, demand, and so on? Uh, it's not the titanium crystal that I want there. It's actually the diamonds here. This is the one. And that's now set to supply. Okay, I don't know why it was doing it like that. But now it does actually allow it to come on in. So that's set the diamonds coming in, and they're coming in pretty quick. And they're also going on past the storage, so we're not just reliant on that. I've got the full smelter facility that is dropping all of them out onto there, which is going to get them going in there. The final thing that I want is over this way, and we are making these, aren't we? No, we're not making these yet. I've got the crystals there that I'm making. Those crystals are being made over here. I know it's been several days since I was here last. Titanium crystals. I need the titanium crystals and the diamonds in order to make the structure matrix. So titanium crystal. I need the titanium bars and then I need these right here. So we need to combine those two together and join them up to go and make something even more spectacular so what's the problem up through here why are we going so slow with everything it's because we don't have all the necessary ingredients coming in so if i have a look in here i have a severe shortage of energetic graphite energized graphite whatever it is uh, that is coming through this way it's moving up to there I've got some coming out that way. I've got some coming out this way. It's coming across this belt. It's coming up to there. It's relying on that. 
what I'm thinking is that these thermal power stations should no longer be being used. We've got a lot of solar panels and I've got some big accumulators here. Now if I go to, this is planetary views, don't really need planetary views, Capella view. Can I see anything on the map? This is star map. That's where Icarus is. I got Capella 2 over there. That's not the... No, I had it on Capella 1. If I go to map here, and then I can... This is the same zoom out. So in order to be able to do something with there... Uh, auto show hide indicator if I go here I can't zoom in on the planet so apparently I can't look at the planet. following of follow rotation view well I can't look at the planet unless I'm actually on it apparently that's what it would look that's that's what it appears to be up here I've got my solar field array up there that is generating power. Down here, this one is off. But as time goes on, that one will generate power, and then the other one will not. So I've got a decent supply of power, I think. If I go and have a look on here, generation capacity, 33.2 megawatts. Consumption demand, 47. Current generation, 48. Eight. Energy accumulated 5.15. So I've got a fair field of solar panels right here that I'm not actually using. Well, I, I am use I'm not using them right now, but apparently I do use them. And here I'm running a bit low because now overnight I appear to be using these a lot more the wind turbine in there accumulator discharge daytime is about to come back which means that these solar panels that we got down here are going to come back online any second and then once they do i'm guessing that we'll be stripping down less from these these are also not taking as much right now because i'm i've also been producing an awful lot of this which is going into our uh, into uh, our planetary logistics system. So you can consumption now stopping at 50 megawatts. Solar panels coming online. As they come online, I don't know if these will start using less power or not. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.